So, up everyone? This is Sam, Third Shift Millionaire. Alright, so, in this video, it's actually July the 29th, right? And, um, to explain everything before I set up what I sold this week, this weekend, I need to give you an explanation as to why I'm doing this video. Um, if you're watching me for the first time, I sell on eBay for part-time. Um, that's one of my income streams, by the grace of God. So, I went on vacation this week and I had to switch stuff up um, this is July I may upload this video before my May video and my June videos because I feel like I just want to do it this way and some of these cells will um, cohe be in cohesive with the other cells I, I, um, I either have uploaded or you will see later on um, I'm not sure how I'm, I'm gonna make this schedule work but I'm making it work best way I know how I already recorded my June videos I've sold and my May videos I've sold and earlier July videos I've sold, items I've sold. But this week I decided to just um, do this before I pack everything up and there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. Um, well, I'll explain it right now because, um, so I, I was going on vacation and my brothers got married, one of my brothers got, got married. So I went to Virginia. I didn't do much thrifting because of the time crunch. I only went to one tax sale. Well, no, two tax sale. And one of them was towards the end. Um, so I bought a few items down in Virginia. Um, that was pretty cool. But I'm going to have to make a road trip one day to just go straight down from Connecticut to Virginia, thrifting along the way. One day I'm going to do that, uh, maybe sometime next year. But anyways, so I had, I had an option of putting my store on vacation for vacation mode or extended handling. So I went for the extended handling for five days. And as I, before I, that's before I left, I did this, um, I believe Thursday night. So I did that, I set up that account that way, my eBay store that way. And then I had a 35% sale on all my items in the store. So this is why you see all these items like this, cause I usually don't sell so many items like this. I mean, eventually by the grace of God, that will change. I would love, for me to sell a bunch of items like on a regular basis like in a cluster of sales within a day you know it happened in the past but it hasn't been happening well it's the summer slowdown but because i had this great sell um people were buying and also i took a lot of best offers i know these the items i'm about to show you they're not the highest um but they're still sales to me a sell is a sell there's still money coming in by the grace of god so i by I'm saying this, I'm just setting up the premise of what I'm about to show you. So I had my store on sale and I did extensive and extended for five days handling, which I'm going to switch back because I'm back home. Um, and there's one thing, unfortunately, um, there's an item I sold and I was looking for it. And I don't know if you've ever done this where you misplace an item in your eBay store. I got get my computer up and loaded in your eBay store. Or I may have replaced it or I sold it because I I switched my whole store like this year I switched the way I did business first I was doing the 30 days like consistently listing it and relisting it or sell similar so I switched that old model out and I was listed to scavenger life for like a year and basically I, I followed their model um, the build it and forget it like build the funnel so basically that's all I've, I've been doing list it and forget it so I put on good to good, good till cancel. That's what my store is set at good till cancel. So I believe I may have sold this particular item, but I'm going to look for it again. So that's why I stopped looking for it. I'm like, let me just make this video. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. I'll just have to reimburse the customer and cancel that sale. I mean, if it happens that way, it happens that way. If it doesn't, then that's good. Um, so okay moving on moving on you know my videos are long and i talk a lot on these videos but hey i, I just pretty get some knowledge on this first um all these items i'm gonna show you what they are and how much they sold for i have my laptop here to show me what they actually went for so this one is a knife it's a crkt knife i went to a tag sale what this guy, I won't say he was a hoarder. He wasn't a hoarder, but he was a buyer. I mean, 
this dude, he passed away, unfortunately. His brother-in-law was, was, I mean, it was like a mess. I went in his backyard. You know how they have um sheds, like normal sheds, like the ones that you could um order, the plastic ones? You set up yourself in your backyard. He had like one, two, three, four. He had about four in each corner of his backyard. And they were full of stuff. But the thing is, they wasn't well kept. Not a lot of things were kept. I mean, some of the guys were wearing dust masks and stuff while they were going through his stuff. It was, un it was unfortunate. But this dude bought everything. Like, I mean, I didn't know people would buy things without necessarily using them. I guess sometimes it's like an addiction, some kind of... um. It's, it's unfortunate. I hate to say it. It is unfortunate when you go to a certain tax cell. It's not always in a state cell where somebody passes and they just, you know, you just go through their house and buy up their stuff. But sometimes it's it's hoarders, people who just keep buying stuff or surround themselves with stuff. That's the unfortunate stuff. Um, sometimes I don't like those things. I, I kind of, I just, by the grace of God, I only went to one of them and I had to walk out. I didn't like, I didn't want to bring certain things home to my to my house. But this one was different. This one, he had he had multiple sheds in his backyard. I mean, this guy collected, like, you name it, you, you could find it there. But the rain and the temperature, humidity in the shed ruined a bunch of items, so I didn't touch anything in there. Um, the only thing I find by the grace of God was these knives. They were still in their um, original casing. And I did buy a, a army bag, which I haven't listed yet. And it's a nice knife. It's a CRKT knife. If you could see it, because my I gotta put the camera better, put the lighting better than this. But anyways, it's a well you can see right here. You can look this up on eBay. Um, it's a sweet looking knife. It's a sweet looking knife. Now I undersold these, like I said. Because I had the sell, I just said yes to everything that was coming in. The sell was the 35% off. So this one went for um, $14. I, I took the best offer for $14. The sell ended up being $15 something. And he shoot me for, he gave me an offer for $14 and I took it. Originally, I believe it was for $30. I put it on. You do the math for the 30%, 35% off. But anyways... This one went for fourteen dollars plus shipping. There's another one. I just agreed to it. I'm not sure if it's the same buyer, but before I started this recording, someone sent me an offer for fourteen dollars, and I accepted it. I figured if I accept this, I'll accept this one. I'm like in a good mood right now. <laughs> I mean, it was a good wedding. I had a good time um, in Virginia. I spent time with my nieces, my family, so it was pretty cool. And my nephew. So. Moving on. Now, this is a glass ceiling fan. It goes on the ceiling. Um, yeah, so it's not fancy about this. Now, I went to a tax sale where I bought this for a dollar. The lady just gave it to me for a dollar because I was buying a bunch of stuff. And she's like, yeah, you could have it for a dollar. That's why I like about going to tax sale. Sometimes when you buy a lot of stuff and they know that you're spending money, sometimes they'll give you a deal, you know, because they like you. If you have... If you show yourself friendly to to the people and stuff like that, even even things that are not priced, they still will give you a deal. It has to do with likability, you know, the human human um, psychological thing. So be presentable, be likable when you go into a tax cell. You know, make small talk here and there. And one of the lady afterwards, when she find out um, I was a seller, she's the one who introduced me to a certain uh, a website called Max Sold, which I'll make a video on. I'll up upload the video on Max Sold. And also the dishes, the the dishes I'm, well, you'll see the video for that one too. The dishes I've sold so far are from that same um, tax sale. So it was pretty good. That, that was a good tax sale. So I'm making my money back on this tax sale. Oh yeah. And this one, what it goes for, I took a best offer for $12 plus shipping. It is breakable, but for a dollar, I figured yes. Like I said, I was in my yes mood and I said yes to it. Now this this walkie-talkie or handheld scanner, it's a Radio Shack handheld scanner. It's a 200 channel VHF, UHF, Air, U, um, channel. These usually go for $40 to $35 on eBay. 
And that's what I had priced it in. Like I said, I had the sale going on. And this guy had sent me an offer on the drive to Virginia. He sent me an offer for $20. I declined it. I'm like, nope, I'm not taking... I'm already... That's one thing that kind of bothers me. When I'm having a sale, people will still send me low offers. And I'm like, why would you do that? But I understand why. That's how the system works. That's how the game works. So anyways, he sent me an offer for $20. And I told my brother about the situation. I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'm turned off and I'll think about it. And when we got to Virginia, uh, he, he I sent him a counter offer for 25 He didn't take it. Because the, the sell price was 25 plus some change. But I just said, I'll take 25 he didn't, he didn't um, take it. Then the day kept going. Someone else bought it for $25. Goes to show you, if you want it bad enough, someone else is going to buy it. So if you're a buyer on eBay, don't try to keep lowballing people because you got to remember this one particular item you may want badly or you try to lowball people for. There's somebody else who has the money like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it because I want it. Point blank. Because there are buyers like that who just don't want to just haggle they don't want to haggle they see something they want they just buy it and they're and you got to think of that that's one that's a lesson i learned that's how come i could counter offer people it's like it puts you in a place where you're not desperate for the cash because you're on ebay you're a seller on ebay and you have the world coming to your doorstep so if you price something right and you keep getting all these low ball offers and you don't have to settle for the low ball offers granted if you're in a Pinch, this is just wisdom right here. If you're in the pinch financially, your rent, car needs repair, or um, kids need braces, <laughs> whatever, whatever you need, you need, you know, if if it comes down to it, and you know this extra twenty dollars may be helpful to pay the light bill for this month, then take the twenty dollars. Put your pride aside. You know, you're running a business. This business is to help you uh, to help you live a very good lifestyle. Always remember that. I mean, there's different re the eBayers do it for different reason, but you have to look at it at your situation. Your situation is going to depict whether you say yes to the low offer or whether you say no to it or wait for the right buyer to come along because the right buyer will always come along. So I just, me, I took the $25 um, sell. Someone else bought it at the sales price I had it on. So that went for $25, $25.99. Total shipping is around 35, the total sales is 35.44. Now, for the next item, this was the first item that sold. <laughs> and this one went for 14.91. I believe they sent me a best offer and I took it. So this is an old book. When I first started eBay, I had asked um, for books and from FreeCycle. And this lady, I went to the next town over, and she happened to be a school teacher by the grace of God. She happened to be a school teacher, so she gave me a bunch of old books. Like I mean, like oh my God, my last apartment was flooded with books. I sent some to Amazon. That's when I was doing FBA. I sent what I could to Amazon, and then I was selling the rest on eBay. I was selling um Scholastics. I think that's how you spell. You say it. If I, if I say it wrong, forgive me. But um. You could do like children books, like grade books. I started to lock them up differently um, to preschool, um, homeschooling kit and stuff like that. So I had to think outside the box, a way to sell all these books. That's one thing about eBay. Once you start to get into it, once you receive an item, any item that you have, you could always repurpose it. What I mean by repurposing it is by selling it in a different way, like target a different market like this. Um, it's a good book for for school kids, right? But you could also say it's a um, craft craft share, not craft share, but a craftsman stuff like that, or for decoration, um, for homeschool, um, for preschool, uh, for kindergarten, all those things. So it's a lot. It's it's they're all different ones. Two soft covers and the rest are hard covers. Um, I'm you're probably familiar with these. Or your kids are probably familiar with these books. But they went for $14. Now, these are going medium L. Um, I probably won't make a lot of profit on this because the shipping itself, I believe the shipping will be like around 4 to $5. Um, but I got them for free, so it, it, it works out in the end. Um, the other item, <laughs> this this came from, this is a funny story. This is a Polaroid. 
I wish I never put this on sale, yo. Honestly, there was a few items like untick on the sale. Um, Cause when you have a sale on eBay, you could select certain items you want on the sale and certain items you don't want. I wish I took this off. This only went for twelve dollars. Now I paid five dollars for it. This was when I was with um, Breaking Profit Meetup, and as I was leaving, one of the guys who was with me at the meet oh I met at the meetup and stuff, he was like, "Hey man, take this camera and just buy it. Just like that's." I'm like, "You know what? That's twenty dollars sitting on the con counter." Cause someone picked it up and put it on the counter, and I'm like, "You know what?" So I took it. And I paid for it. And I paid five dollars for it. That was at Savers. We were at Savers at that time. And I only sold it for twelve dollars. It went for twelve, unfortunately. Someone bought it for twelve, which is cool. Um, I think it's twelve. Let me make sure. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. Someone paid twelve ninety nine for this. So I didn't make too much on this. I mean, I spent five dollars on it, and but it includes shipping. So it's the person paid a total of nineteen eighty five for it. So this one was a good deal to some degree. Someone got away with it. Someone got a good deal on this. It works. It powders on. Um, the last, next last item is this shirt. Now this is from the loft. Um, from the loft from the five dollar fill bag day. I think that's the third shirt I've sold on this lot so far. And this one went for. Ten dollars. I took a best offer for ten dollars on this. It's a women's blouse. It's a teddy. T e d d i. It's a size three x. Let me take it out so you see what it looks like. The reason why I purchased this one is because at my that was from my honey hole thrift store, and I know I know that women's size, certain women's size one x and three x always sell for me by the grace of God. So I sold this. I gotta just next time I'll adjust the camera better, but you could possibly see it. You know, it's a little teddy. So, anyways, it's a nice colorful blouse, a woman's blouse. So it has one button on top, and it opens up in the bottom. So I took a best offer for ten dollars. Now you may be asking Sam, why are you taking all these low offers and stuff? Well, little things added up, and I was on vacation. And I was thinking as uh, of the long, long game, as they say, because every little bit add up. Um, so, so the thing is, the total sell on all these items, I'm including now. I'm I'm including the item that I may cancel the sale price. So total profit of sales is one hundred and fifty forty two dollars. So that's the total um, sell. That's the um, profit, not the net. So that's one hundred and fifty dollars and forty two cents for all the items I've shown you. That I've shown you plus the one that's um, I'm missing. <laughs> I hope I'm not missing it. So that's like a fourteen dollar uh, item right there. It's just a a moo -moo, like a blouse I picked up. Like I always buy pajamas and stuff like that, or nightwear for women. I always buy those things because. Eventually they sell for some reason they sell so I buy them all the time when I see them when I see something of good quality I pick, I pick it up So behind me This hasn't been paid for it's a waiting payment. It's already been purchased It's from the lot If you I'll upload like I said, I'll, I'll upload my other videos and you'll see what I'm talking about and if I haven't and I'll put a, a, a in the description where it's this video is at now i bought this cape i didn't know what it was before it's a mink coat cape i guess it goes over your shoulder from the it goes over your shoulder i guess like if you're wearing a mink coat and you put this over it like i don't know what this, I, women god bless y'all y'all look good in this so <laughs> but the thing is it's a mink um cape i find out what it was and it went for forty three dollars. I took a best offer for forty three on this item from the sales price I had it on. So this went for forty three. I'll put the, the, the um you know why the little sticker. So I'm I'm awaiting payment on it now. The reason why I'm putting this in the video because I know this person is gonna pay by. I say I know. I hope I know she's gonna pay by the grace of God. My customer is usually pay. So. So yeah, so this is what I've sold so far. Oh, backstory. Do I need a backstory on this? Oh yeah, I bought 
there was a clock. The reason why I settled for the 43, I had priced it at 85 and I made the 35% sell. The reason why I took the 43 is because this is nothing but profit. I already made my money back from the first mink coat I um, that was purchased. It was $120 someone bought it from off of me. So in that, man, in that tax sale, I spent $102. And so far, I this will make, I already made my money back. But selling this will give me $113 profit from it. So this is why I took the best offer on this because like I said, this is never a profit. The other items from that same tax sale I have is another one of them, not clock, I'm sorry, not clock, a jewelry box. From the jewelry box, I have one more jewelry box. I have one more cape and I have a paint in there that, that, that was for the $2. So there's three items that's gonna be net more profit. That's how come I took the best offer on. So you gotta consider like whether you're gonna take the offer or not. If I'm not telling you how to run your business, but you, sometimes you gotta think about the thing as a whole not as individual, like, to be honest, I paid $30 for this. Now, I probably wouldn't have taken 30, I probably wouldn't have taken the $43 because it would have just been a $40, I mean, a $10 profit. It wouldn't have been worth it to do that because I wouldn't double my money. I mean, I would make my money back, but then I would just have a um, extra $10. But it wasn't really worth it. But because this was in a lot that I spent $102 on, and I already made my money back from that. So this is all profit. This is just little, that's money that's coming down the funnel, as they say. So I believe this is it I have to share with you today. Um, yeah, so this is all, all I sold so far while I was on vacation. And it feels good to know that uh, you're away and you're sleeping or you're on the road, wherever you may be, you may be taking a shower, you may be jogging. You're making sales, you're making money on eBay or Amazon or wherever you are. It feels good that, you know, you do the work up front and then when you're away, you could be cooking in the kitchen, you could be with your significant other, you could be with your kids and you get that ching ching sound or you, you see the little icon on your phone, you know, you just made a sale. That's a good feeling, you know, it, it, you do, but you have to do the work up front. You have to go out and source, right? You have to list correctly. You have to pack it, your item right. You have to take good photos. So all this, you do the work up front and then you continue to do to take care of your life and the sales come in and then this happens. It looked like a bunch, oh yeah, as you can see, I sell a bunch of different stuff. If I can make money on it, if I when I do the research on my phone and I know I could get make money on it by the grace of God, I'll buy it and I'll make my money on it. So this is why I also have different packaging material. If you've ever seen the other video I made about getting free material, this is why I have I like having um, packaging material on hand because you don't know what's gonna sell. When I was on vacation, I could have sell a big item. Like I have a, another item, a toy that was this big, but I only sold smalls, well, medium to smalls. So always have packaging material on hand and run sales. I know some are slow, run sales, granted, this money is just going to go back into the business. So that's a good thing. So run sells. I sell all kinds of different things. The, from the mink coat, to knives, to a camera, to books, to walkie-talkie, or scanner, into a glass, into a nightgown. You know, go figure. People buy a lot of stuff on eBay. So if you're, if you're watching me for the first time, I just want to share this with you. Like, if you're, if you're still with me for the whole video, I say thank you. Also... Um, if you're struggling financially, if you don't know what to do, just, you know, try eBay. I mean, you're watching this video for a purpose. So maybe you're, you're struggling with like, not struggle. I don't use the word struggle too much, but if you're having a little bit difficulty financially, you could tap into eBay because you could, you see, you could make money on certain items, like on all items that it's all odds and ends, you know? All right. So I guess that's all I really have to share with you today. Um, the item that I'm waiting on, I have to go look for and I have to go ship these items out. Now, I, I still have the five day extension on my extended shipping on my, on my store. I could ship these today or tomorrow, but I'm going to package them today and ship them out today. 
For example, for my customer to get it um, early, even though they know that within three to five days, they should get it. Um, but I'll ship it right now because it's Monday. I will ship Monday from Sunday sales. So yeah, continue to hustle hard and hustle smart. <laughs> Peace. Third Shift Millionaire out. <laughs>